Hello everyone, Corn here, and I'm coming on today to show you all some of my vintage hankies. And I'll be real honest with you all, I thought that I had more than I did. I was quite surprised when I went looking for some in my linen closet that unless I have hidden them under larger linens, I can't find some of them, and maybe um, this is all I have. I don't usually count my hankies, but before I get into these, I want to show you what I was looking for. Um, this is, someone did the cross stitch on this and also did the crochet work around here, and if you open it like this and this, and this, and this, um, the napkins are here, and I also got these at a thrift store, and this is a uh, cross stitch on these also, but I had something very similar that said hankies was on the front of it, and that's what I was looking for, and I never found it, but I didn't turn my linen closet upside down because I don't have time to do that. But some of my wonderful subbies said, you know, corn, I would like to see, I asked if you'd like to see some of my other hankies and you said, yes, you would. So I'm gonna start with this one. And as you know, when I open them, they're just going to be the same pattern and you won't see there you go. I was going to say then they're very thin, most of them. So I'll try to do that quickly. But um, one thing that Dolly, Crafty Mermaid Mom, said is when she sees the vintage uh, hankies, they remind her of china patterns in tea sets and everything. And I think she's right. <laughs> I agree with her. Here's some daisies. Look at those daisies. Aren't they sweet? And I know anybody that has clicked on this to watch um, probably enjoys as much as I do. Now this is, they're just on white. They do have the tiny little bud in the back, but this is machine embroidery. And this one does have a scalloped edge. That looks like a gladiola, doesn't it? And then this one, there's nothing on the back of that one, but again, machine embroidery of uh, lavender rose and rosebuds. Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> this is Lily of the Valley and also with violets. Aren't they sweet? That's just such a sweet one. Let's put that one there. And then this one with pinks and blues. Look how sweet that is. And then this is just, I thought you might like to see um, how the ladies, I don't know many gentlemen that used to, but maybe they did also, with that very fine thread, do the crochet work around them, and peach. Oh, speaking of crochet work, I thought you all would love this one. Look at that. Look at that butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? I know there's some butterfly lovers out there. <laughs> and here's another butterfly and crochet work. Look at that one. Blues and yellows, they complement each other so much. And then this sweet one I thought you would like just to see the little lace on the corner. Here's some more of the machine embroidery with the scalloped edge in yellow also. 
I think this one's very elegant. It looks like I didn't iron it. I apologize, y'all. As you see, all the other ones have been ironed before I put them up. But isn't this an elegant, elegant hanky? Just gorgeous. And then we also have round ones. I thought y'all would get a kick out of that. And tulips. <laughs> Another round one with a scalloped edge. Look at this one. Ooh. Daisies. And you all educate me on this flower, please. <laughs> I'm not sure of that one. We've got some roses coming up. Now this has, um, the owner did the board, um, excuse me, the crochet work around it. I'm gonna have to get out to here to show you on that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, blue, white, and pink. This is another one where they did the crochet work around it. And this is blue white with touches of green rose, um, blue rosebuds. And the crochet work is in scallops also. Another one where they did the crochet work around it. Isn't that sweet with the little bows? And there's the crochet work. Then we have pink roses. And a bouquet, actually, look at that. And look at the edges. If you're like me, I like the edges as much as everything else. Then I'm going to show you, since the background is white, then there's also purple roses. This looks like a more recent design, doesn't it? And they also had it in blue. They had it in red and pink also. Then we have some pansies, some gorgeous pansies. And the edging on this is scalloped also. Look at that beauty. Isn't that lovely? With bunches in all four uh, corners, bunches of pansies. Yum. <laughs> so pretty. Now this I always thought was a very interesting one. And for some reason it reminds me of Valentine's. With the red and white and blue and pink and touches of black. Isn't that lovely? I was tickled to find that one. But every time I see it I think of Valentine's Day. Here's another one with a white background, just a beautiful pink rose. That looks like it's from the 50s, doesn't it? That design, thorns and all, darlings, thorns and all. Oh, and there's the back with the little rosebuds. Isn't that sweet? And then this one, yeah, this is the same design on the back as the front. Bunches of violets, which remind me of my grandmother whom I will always love. <laughs> and this one, isn't that lovely? Look at the design around the edges, just beautiful. Ooh, this one has very vibrant colors. Look at those colors. 
dealing with roses. These are larger, there's two left, and I went through them quickly because of time restraints. And look how delicate this is. This fabric is very delicate. <laughs> look at that, and look at the edges. Let me see if I can get the edges up for you. Aren't these patterns gorgeous? They're just so lovely. They make me smile. And this one is white on white. The back on the corner has the machine embroidery. And then I thought you'd get a kick out of this one also. I have other white on whites, but they don't show up as well on camera. But isn't that elegant? I just think that's lovely. And I would like to thank you all for joining me today. And I, I wanted to make sure when you all, when I ask and you all say yes, we would like to see, you know, we would like to see whatever I asked the question about. I always try to make sure, and again, I was a little late doing this because I was trying to make sure I got all of mine together, which if I find more, I will do another video. If you know, I, if I have time enough to go through my linen closet and because it needs reorganizing anyway, but that's not going to be for a while. I can tell you that now, <laughs> not with the holidays coming up, but I thank you all for your interest also in seeing the vintage hankies because they are awfully sweet and pretty and with the crochet work on some of them, there's an awful lot of work involved in them also and i'd like to thank you all for joining me and i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening bye bye everybody